it's Stevio here. Today we got to prepare the grass fields and all the new fields for planting. What does that mean? We need a lime and we need to fertilize. <laughs> We're gonna head out. We gotta get into our new track limer. So we're gonna go down here quickly, grab the old dirty max, head on down. But first, we got to feed the cattle. Gotta get a load of TMR into the cattle. Fill this up quickly. Seventy five twenty works great on this Anderson feed wagon here. Over here. Now that that's done, we will get to Lyman. So there is our new Lyman machine, 3540 case. Get this boy extended. So this thing holds about 24 tons, just under 24 tons. It's a precision lime tool. Take no time at all. Get this lined up. So what we're going to do, we're going to lime and then we're going to put some a little bit of fertilizer down right afterwards. And then we're going to incorporate both at the same time with uh, the new 9RX. So we still have it as demo. Doing really good. Doesn't work great with course play. Haven't really figured that out. Doesn't turn. So that's a bummer. But otherwise, I'm really enjoying it. Definitely seems like it's a little tipsy. We got quite a few fields to lime and spray. We got a lot of little fields, a lot of little work. Definitely, uh, we got a bumpy field. Don't know if we're gonna have to. Hopefully, the cultivator smooths this out. You don't want a bumpy field for a hay field. That's for sure. Uh, especially when you're constantly swathing it that can be uh, hard on your swathing machine those sickle bars running so close to the ground this up. We'll 
take this thing on to the big grass field. We will stop here and fill it up with lime. Prior to going over there. So we really don't have a way to tin lime back and forth, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got 24 tons on there. Cover back on. Not for sure how heavy lime is. It's required if it can blow out going down the road or not. Haven't dealt with lime ever. A little bumpy right there. Definitely got some high air tires on this thing. There we go, we'll send the hired hand off with it. So we still have a pull type sprayer. Uh, I haven't had the real need to upgrade to a self-propelled sprayer really. So we're gonna hold this pull type sprayer. Giant booms on this pull type sprayer. Delta Force party. I don't know if. Yeah. Raise the boom up a little bit. There we go. Don't have much wind today, so it'll be fine. Wetens that uh, lime pretty good. So we will be incorporating both of these in with cultivator. That way it will be nice and ready for planting. Cut my boom. Should really have a breakaway boom for this. So it won't take long with this sprayer. Complete this field. Probably should uh, fix some of the bumps in this field prior to us. Uh, Disking it. But too late now. There we go. Definitely bumpy. Need some uh, ground sensors with this. Okay, we'll fold these up. So basically we're going to be playing leapfrog with all the implements. This is done. We'll get the 9RX in there. 
incorporating it all into the soil. So now we will get into the 9RX. We got a sunflower. Not for sure. This is a five section cultivator. For sure it's a so we got a sunflower 50 56 58. Five section. I wonder if that means five eight foot sections. Not sure. There we go. It's going to make really quick work of this field. It's probably good because we did miss a little bit of stubble here and there. Not a huge deal because our planter is uh, no-till, but just need to make the fields nice and clean. Otherwise, the neighbors talk about you. I guess they talk about you if your fields are clean too, but it's they talk better about you, maybe. I really like in this sunflower five section. Forget who makes sunflower. I believe somebody bought them out. Not positive about that or maybe they're still their own company so. it's the only thing about bad about articulating tractors is uh, how they turn and how they turn back that's a fine art that's for sure we never dealt with them to be honest so all my tractors, these big tractors, are just for front wheel assist. And that was it. I think. So, back when they didn't put duals on front wheel, four wheel drives or actually front wheel assist tractors, is, uh, I believe. I got to drive one of the first ones made. It was just a uh, farmer made. So he just put clamp on duels on the front of that. It was on a Magnum 7140. And a short while after that, you basically could buy them on anything. Yeah, he definitely made that. Uh, Magnum a little bit more stable, a lot better ride, so... So there you go. This is our now this field is completely done. And we'll do the leapfrog again. Looks like we also have to go take the Titan and refill it. So we really need to shop around for a good tender for that Titan. If you guys know of a good Lyman tender out there, let me know. I would like one. Hired hand apparently just stops in the middle of the field. Let's finish this up and then we'll go 
hit that small field really quick. Finish this little piece up that we have left on this field. Quickly do our side acreage here. Quick look at the inside of the cab of this spreader. And we'll jump back into our sprayer. The sprayer is going to be like a ping pong machine bouncing in between these trees. Hit it around with the 9RX. Got a huge five section sunflower chisel on the back, so it doesn't take much time. Incorporating in this, so we will have easy time. We did end up taking back the air seeder so that's unfortunate it would be nice to be able to use that for planting these fields but we still have our great plains cedar so we could always use that jump into the car this 9RX with this five section sunflower chisel is going to make quick work of this field. We'll hop into our side acre chair and get it done really quick. Now we'll hop back out and complete the rest of the field. Doesn't take more than three rounds with this big chisel. Get some inside the John Deere cab here. This field is a little bit bigger than the other field. We plan on putting this still into crops.
Now we have just a little sliver left. So we just got done. So we leapfrogged. Now we got three. We got the lime. We got it fertilized, and we got it incorporated into the soil. So we are ready to plant. We also have the herbicide going down on our bean field over there. Got to take it easy. This is a tight fit with this sunflower cultivator. Magnum getting it done over there. 9RX. So what do you guys think? Do you like this thing? Let me know. Do you want to keep it or not? I really like the 9RT. So get this over here. I think I'm gonna I'm going to pressure wash this off quickly. Can't have this 9RX looking dirty. Dealership won't give us another demo if that happens. We're going to park this uh, sunflower chisel right over here. Not really a chisel, it's a cultivator. Park it over here in the corner. Nice little mold out area. I can get it to kick over. There we go. Take this 9RX back to the shed, that is, not back to the dealer. I'll probably park it right over here. Go. Shut it down. Man, that's a good looking tractor. Very pretty. So we will head back up for supper. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. And I will see you later in Ohio.